guy to believe that he and the Red Legion should have been chosen to receive the Traveler's power. Gaul believes in a better class of guardian. He's here because he believes the Traveler in choosing us made the wrong choice. And in Destiny 2, Gaul intends to show the Traveler the error of its ways. Humanity, us, we're just in the way. The game opens with loss and becomes a game about recovery. Recover your powers. Become strong again. Reclaim your connection to the Traveler and find powerful new gear, weapons, armor. Recover the Vanguard, those three characters we just saw, Zavala, Cade, and Ikora. They're all dealing with this loss just like we are and in different ways. Zavala, the leader of this whole thing, is having an existential crisis. He's wondering things like, without the light, are we even guardians? Although it's like, it's Zavala's voice, not mine, so it's way more awesome. It's way better. Ikor is angry. The warlocks who like, value so much of their connection to the Traveler and knowledge, one of those two things has been taken away. So in her rage, she's fled. We have to find her. And then Cade, sort of plucky hunter leader, Cade goes off and does the least expected thing of all. He goes off and tries to be a hero. And what happens next is pretty expected because it goes totally sideways. Let's take a closer look at the game scenario and the things you're gonna chase in Destiny 2. Hey, you two, give me a sec. Zavala's doing the hero thing in the plaza. Me, I've got a date with whoever's behind this. It'll be a short date. Destiny 2 tells a brand new story. What happens when a world full of superheroes loses their powers, their history, and home? Since Destiny 1 released, there's been no foe that they could stand before and not tip over. Whether it's Crota, Oryx, spider monsters, whatever. But in the opening of Destiny 2, players realize there is, in fact, a foe who has the power to not only take everything you own away, but to take your power away. Dominus Gaul is a Cabal warlord who has brought with him the Red Legion and has come to our system to take the Traveler's powers, the light, take it for himself. Gaul's jealous. He wants to have the light. He wants to be chosen. Gaul is a different villain. He's not a psychopath who just wants to erase humanity off the face of the earth. He feels like this is something that is owed to him because of everything he's been through. He's a villain who you're like, yeah, this guy kind of has his stuff together. He's more like uh, Alan Rickman's character from Die Hard. <laughs> like, minus all the Britishness. The protector itself, the traveler, is put in a cage, and in an instant, all guardians lose their light. Unexpected and irreversible. You can no longer go back to the tower. You can no longer even walk. All you can do is stumble. Nobody expected that light could be taken away once it was given. The city has been lost and the vanguard's been cast out. And you are the hero of this story. Whether you're a titan, a warlock, or hunter, you have to go out and get your powers back and take back the city. Whether you're playing Destiny today or it's going to be your first foray into the franchise, Destiny 2 is a new adventure for everyone. It's a fresh start for all players. Destiny 2 has an all-new cinematic campaign. There's more cinematics than we've ever had before. I think. How long before the fleet's combat break? Have more story missions. There's quests, there's adventures, there's going to be people talking to you. Let's bring them home, you and I. All new worlds to explore. We've got cooperative strikes for three players, new nightfall strikes, and a brand new raid. In Destiny 2, we built you all new weapons, all new armor, and a pile of brand new exotics. 
We also redesigned the weapon slots. They're gonna have a kinetic weapon, an energy weapon, and then a power weapon. Power weapons are things like fusion rifles and sniper rifles and grenade launchers. In that energy slot, and the kinetic slot, you can have the same weapons. The new weapon plan was designed to provide players with more freedom and more choice to use the stuff that they love. Each character has these new supers, and they're really changing the way it feels to play the game. We have the Dawn Blade. You can cast your super, you've got your sword, and you're flying over everyone, and you can just rain down fire, phoenix, projectiles that just decimate people. Then you have the Sentinel. The Sentinel is a titan, and he is able to summon a shield that he can just knock his opponents out with. We can throw his shield and just bang it off dudes' heads. And then you have the Arc Strider. They summon this mystical staff and wield it like a crazy acrobat, cracking enemies in the head. It's awesome. The idea of losing your home and being cast out and the lengths that you go to to get it back, it's all tied together to be something that's really meaningful. The sense of starting as an underdog and climbing to a great height is really fun. Destiny 2 is the place where we get to reach back out to everyone who could enjoy a sweet first-person shooter in a future world with giant awesome aliens to fight and gear to chase and powers to use and say, come check this world out. Come get invested in this world and in this story.